if, if anything is on the way, I'm excited about it. But if not, uh, not expecting anything either. So just uh, fired up, obviously, to get named newcomer of the week. And, you know, hopefully you can keep building off that. Get a chance to sit down and go over the tape with, with Pete and Coach Sat. What did uh, what what was the take your takeaway from your performance? Maybe where you think you know you can can step some things up a little bit. Yeah, you know I felt felt really good operationally out there. Um, still think I could be a little bit smarter decision making wise. Obviously, you know just knowing the situation, knowing that you don't always have to force some stuff and just you know take what the defense is given to you and you know everything will end up working out if you just do that. And you know like I said on Saturday that we left a lot of points on the field and, and I still believe that after watching the film obviously we watched the film on the sideline as well after every drive but you know still the still the same feedback from from coach Thomas and just talking with them that you know just take what they give you and, and we'll be good a lot of guys got touches uh, anyone that, that you would have liked to have gotten an, another touch to or I mean you're the quarterback they're probably always telling you that they're open yeah you know <laughs> you yeah, would have liked to get, uh, obviously, Tyron and Tony didn't get a catch. Obviously, Tony got that little pitch that was never supposed to happen, but it ended up happening. He got that little pitch, was able to make something out of nothing there. And um, would have liked to get both of them the ball as far as just receiving wise. Uh, but, um, you know, we'll see what happens this week. Hopefully, we can get all the guys involved. Uh, Evan Pryor kind of had a pretty quiet fall camp, didn't see a lot of bursts, and then just takes one 64 yards of the house. What's it like to know that you have that explosive back behind you? who's, you know, tied with Chance on the depth chart after such a good running back in Corey. Yeah, like I said, the last time we were in here, I said that I was confident in all of our running backs, and I still stand by that. And, uh, you know, all of them all of them have different strengths, and all of them can burst a little bit. And obviously we got to see that with Ev, and, you know, he did a great job finding the hole and, and taking off. And obviously it was good to see him take one to the house. Joe talked about it after the game and Coach Satterfield today. Have you had any conversations about this rivalry, Cincinnati and Pittsburgh, and how excited are you to play against them at Nippert Stadium on Saturday? Yeah, I'm fired up, especially after, you know, being there on Saturday. Obviously, being in Nippert for the first time was really cool Get the, to see the atmosphere and feel the atmosphere. I'm excited to get back, you know, against Pitt with it being a rivalry game. And just, you know, like they've said, I mean, every game, you got to go in there and, and, and find a way to win a game. So obviously it's it's no different whether whether it's a rivalry or not. You know, you just got to go in there and, and, and just find a way to win. Offensive line protected you pretty well. No sacks. Uh, Pitt really comes after the quarterback. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do you have to do to the o lineman? Like a few extra stakes or something? Or? Yeah, maybe. Maybe take them out of dinner or something. But uh, yeah, those, uh, those big boys up front did a great job. Um, you know, I expect that every week. You know, that group's very talented and, and they, they play really well together. So just excited to see how they perform on Saturday and, and looking forward to it. You have to anticipate with how much you fed X and, and Royer that Pitt's gonna pay, pay attention mm -hmm. to them. How important is it to, to maybe not lock onto that and let a play develop? And you have to think there's gonna be guys open if there's doubles there. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, if somebody's being double teamed then somebody else is either uncovered or has a good matchup. So. Uh, just preaching to all the guys, you know, all week long that there's a good chance the ball's coming to you, no matter who you are, whether it's X, whether it's Royer, or anybody other, any of the other guys. So, um, really, just making sure that that everybody knows and that they could get the ball and that they're ready for it. Your thoughts on Dante coming back? Fired up. Obviously, you haven't got to practice a ton against him during fall camp and everything with with everything that's gone on, but got to see him in spring ball. Was uh, was kind of glad that he was out for fall camp. Obviously, giving me a little bit extra time to, to you know, go through some reads and everything. But you know, he's a difference maker, and I'm fired up that that he's on our side, and uh, you know, he's back. You had that rollout. You hit Sterling, and you got out of the pocket a, a lot more on the day. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that's one of your biggest strengths? I mean, you're kind of looking forward to showing fans that you know it, it's not really one read and then run. It's I can yeah. get my eyes downfield and complete some passes. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't like to just you know look at one spot and then just start to move obviously if I get through my read and nothing's there then you got to make something happen and, and try to let your guys work you know after the play's over and um, really just trying to extend plays you know make something out of nothing whenever that happens and uh, whether that's running for a first down you know getting out of the pocket and then finding Sterling or someone like that you know uh, really just just trying to be a playmaker out there and, and you know find ways to move the chains and score points. What did you enjoy most about having an offensive head coach now in game? Certainly that wasn't the situation you walked into at IU. How much 
how does that change how you operate in game? Uh, you know, obviously, you know, he played the position as well. He played quarterback, so you know he sees it from a quarterback's point of view, and you know it's always good to talk with him, seeing what he's thinking as well. And obviously, he's calling the game as if as if he was playing it. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm confident that he thinks that he trusts me. So obviously, uh, you know, if he can trust me and I can go out there and make plays for him, he's going to call an aggressive game, and I like that. So. Uh, you know, we'll get to see more this Saturday and, and going forward, but I'm just, you know, glad that we do have an offensive head coach. On a personal note, you grew up in, in Denton, Texas. What college team did you follow when you were growing up? I was a big OU fan. Obviously, you know, Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray, those are two guys that I got to watch a little bit whenever I was younger. Uh, then I was, uh, whenever I was younger, though, I was a big Johnny Manziel guy, so. Got to got to follow him around a little bit. Go to a couple of games whenever I was uh, young, and he was playing at A and M. So, really, just kind of all over. But uh, yeah, probably an OU fan just growing up and and everything. So, you briefly touched on the atmosphere there on Saturday. Just after watching the film and kind of collecting your thoughts after Saturday, what was your overall thoughts of first time out there in Nippert Stadium? Felt good. I felt really calm and poised out there, and like I was, like I said, I was operating really well and. You know, it was loud, but still was able to communicate to everybody. And um, yeah, I mean, just excited to, to feel the atmosphere again on Saturday. And hopefully it's, you know, louder, more packed. And, you know, we got to go find a way to win this one as well. Brendan football doesn't have quite the same ring to it. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> not the same. Uh, maybe we can think of something between now and the end of the season uh, going forward. But uh, yeah, definitely not, not the same ring. Uh the art of the with the with the RPOs coming in, the art of like a, a real play action kind of has been lost in football. Mm -hmm. Where did you pick that up? Because it seems to be something you're really comfortable with, you know, the handwork and, and getting your feet set and saw it on the, the throw to X for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, in high school, obviously, we did a lot of it. So uh, obviously getting some some reps there was big. And then at IU, we did a good amount of it as well. So really just repetition. Um, Obviously, going forward, just the more reps, you're only going to get better at it. So, uh, obviously, I do take pride in the play action game. Obviously, I think it's really good for us. And if we can do it well, then and we can run the ball well, I think it'll be really good for us. Back here. We good? You got one more? One more? Yeah. Good. Okay, we're good. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Thanks, brother. Thank you.